Howdy partnoids, welcome to another CMB Minecraft tutorial. Today I'm going to take you through my uh, bat cave entrance, which is essentially a waterfall split with a secret door. Um, and it works a bit like this. A bit like that. And then it resets. So this is what I used in building the bat cave, and I said to you guys that I'd um, give you a tutorial on how to build it. So, yeah, I'm going to take you through that. We're going to do it in three stages. Um, starting with the blue circuit here which is the um, super compact secret door then I'm gonna go on to the double piston extender which I've already covered in 60 seconds with CMB um, which is the bit that splits the waterfall and then we're gonna put the water reset in which is a pulse limiter uh, which just cuts the water off like that and then lets it out so it resets correctly um, so yeah cool stay tuned Hawkeye so the first thing we've got to do is build the secret door part of the circuit, which is this uh, blue one here. And this is my new secret door that I came up with about two days ago. And it's really nice and compact, a lot better than the last design I was using in the tutorial. So I will do a quick tutorial on this, I think, or a 60 seconds with CMB or something like that. And then we're going to add this annex on at the top here which connects the blue circuit to this pink circuit, which is our double piston extender, which splits the waterfall. So I'll show you how to build that. And just a little note, we're going to be doing a 10 high waterfall in this example. And that's quite important that you do it 10 high. So we start with four sticky pistons like that, and two sticky pistons facing outwards, and then two blocks there, obviously the same block as your wall so it's going to be completely hidden eventually and that's your door part done you've just got to get power into it so we have two diagonal blocks like that a redstone torch there and some dust there and that's going to power all four pistons just from this one torch so we've got to be able to affect this block with the torch on it to turn on and off our system and we do that by putting a bit of redstone dust in there and then a block above it so that it turns into a cross like that, otherwise it won't affect the block or turn the torch off. So you've got to do that, and then we've got to power that redstone dust, and we do that by putting a block there, dig down there, and we put a repeater going into that block with full delay. Now, to power that repeater, we've got to go through this block here, and we dig down there, and we put another cross of redstone there like that. So now, if we power that redstone dust, it's going to attract in the whole system so in default state is pushed out which is what we want obviously until we power it and then it will attract in so the last thing we've got to do is power this side so that these two blocks get pushed out and the way we do that is we've got a block there with a redstone torch on the side and then we're going to put a block above that redstone torch and a cross of redstone there and then if we build the wall up here you'll see that we've pushed that top piston out and this bottom piston will get powered when you affect the system it just doesn't work right now so if we now give that cross of redstone some power through this red block here as you can see it pulls our system in and then when we turn it off it pushes it out like that so that's the whole retractable door part of this done um, now all you've got to do is add the annex part which is going to go into our pink uh, double piston extender circuit. And it goes like this. So you have a block above this redstone and then a block uh, parallel to that. And then a block up there like that with redstone in the middle. Torch on top of that block. A block there. And then a repeater like that. And then this is going to lead off into the pink circuit. So... That's just to connect both of them up, and now I'll show you how to make the pink circuit. Right, so we just got to build a kind of ceiling or floor, depending on which way you look at it, and it goes like this. So directly above the pistons, you want to build out like this, three wide, and then you want to come back four, a bit like that, and then you want to put your pistons in, so they're going to go, if you break a hole in the wall like that, they're going to go there. And then this is going to be the block that gets pushed out and splits the waterfall. So it looks a bit like that. Cover that back over. Then we're going to have a pink block there. And then pink blocks all the way around like that with a gap here and a gap here. 
And in those gaps, you're going to put repeaters and redstone dust there, and then just bring that all the way around. You don't put redstone dust on this pink block just there like that. And then the timings are full delay, four ticks, and then two ticks on that one. And that means now, if we power this circuit like that, we get it to extend like that. And then if we take the power away, it pulls the block in. Uh, so that's that's super simple. And obviously now, because it's linked up to this blue circuit through the, um, the torch and the repeater, if we put power down here, not only will it retract the door, but it'll also push the piston out at the same time, which means it'll split a waterfall and open up so that we can walk through. Um, and that is pretty much the bottom half of the section done. Actually, you're nearly there. So all you've got to do is add the uh, water reset for when you walk back in, and the system's done. So we'll do that. Okay, so the last thing we've got to do is get our timings for the input and add the green circuit here, which is our pulse limiter, which pushes this block out. So I'll show you what I mean. So you'll see at the top it gets cut off there, and then it resets everything. And if we don't have that there, we get a bit of a mess because the water won't reset correctly because it will spill out over the top of the double piston extender. We want a bit like that, uh, which is not what we want. So we have to have that very short reset of the water, um, which is pretty much as slick as I can get it at the moment. And we do that by using this pulse limiter. So when we flick the switch, the power comes in to the green circuit here, but it stays on. So we have to limit that um, duration by using this pulse limiter, which only pushes this out and in very briefly. Um, so cool, I'll show you to build that. So we come over to our pink circuit and we're going to want to go one block, two blocks above, and then five blocks out. So it's three by five. So you come five blocks out, three wide, and then you're going to need to get power from down here. So if you go from this red block, you're going to have a red block there for your power. And then your green circuit is coming up here. Um, and you're going to knock alternative blocks out like that. Put a torch on each one. I'm sure some of you have seen this before. just helps carry charge neatly in one block. However, it's got a delay, but it doesn't matter for this system. So to build a pulse limiter, and this is a slightly customized one just for this design. Um, I will do a tutorial on them, probably do a circuit spotlight, so fear not. Um, so we start with a block and a torch on the side, a repeater there, redstone dust, block, redstone dust next to that, two repeaters like that, redstone dust, and a repeater there. And that's it, so it's a loop, and actually comes off this way and round. Now, these repeaters need to be on four ticks of delay, full delay there, and we need a torch at the end, like that, on this block on the side, with a block above that torch, and then we're going to put a piston facing outwards, a bit like that. Oh, and we need to add redstone there, of course. So as you can see, it pushed out and came back in, yet the power here is still on. So it's just limited our pulse. Okay, so that's that done, and the last thing you need to do is the timings for the whole system and add the water in so the water is obviously very simple the source block just has to be actually let me just dig a trench the source block has to be one block above this piston otherwise obviously it would just cancel the source block out which is not what we want so we need it to push out here um so now you've just got to do the input timings to these two red blocks to get it to work and so you're going to, there's many ways of doing this. I'm just going to do this for ease. Um, obviously, depending on how you've got this set up and where it is, this might be slightly different, well, differently situated, but you need to have these repeaters set up like this. So for a 10 high system, you're going to need four repeaters like that. And then just redstone uh, leading into the other red block. So... There's two separate timings for these systems. There's this red block here, which does our blue system, and that's got four repeaters of delay. And then for our green system, we use another red block, and that's got absolutely no delay on it whatsoever. And if you stick to that, generally, the system's going to work. So let's see if she does. So if we give it power like that, we get our double extender pushed out and our door retracted. And then if we take it away, 
we get it cut off up there, tracks in, and resets. So that's the whole system done. And then obviously, you know, you're going to wire these switches in like I did in building the back cave. I used a bud switch with a redstone ore block um, as a secret switch that you can use rather than a, an obvious lever or whatever. And then when you come around the other side here, you're going to need to go through a T flip flop XOR gate, whatever you're going to use. I did a tutorial on this actually um, yesterday, so I'll put a link in the annotation description for the guys that want to know how to close it from inside. But that's pretty much the system done. Um, in fact, that is the whole thing done. And uh, yeah, cheers for watching.